Hey, good morning, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. You're watching The Buzz. And today, due to the weather, I wanted to make this video just to give you guys an idea of the range loss um, that I've been experiencing uh, during this cold uh, Arctic blast that we've been having. So today, it is a minus zero with a wind chill of about minus 18 um, here in Chicago. And um, if you guys have watched my previous videos of the cold weather or driving... I don't remember what the name of it was, but I'm going to post it up here so you guys can go back and check it out. But so I basically drive about 53 miles one way to work and I have, you know, difference in, in range loss each and every day. But today was pretty significant. So on my 52.9 mile commute, um, I have lost uh, 91 miles. Um, so I have about 37 miles of range loss um, during that time period uh, of about one hour and 13 minutes. And I know a lot of you are going to say, well, did you have the heat on? Heck yeah, I had the heat on. It is freezing out here. Uh, but I had it about 74 degrees. Um, my windows were fogging up pretty good, so I had to have that on um, to diminish the... Uh, the ice buildup and everything on the windows and windshield. And of course I had my seat warmer on and I was traveling about 70 miles an hour pretty consistently uh, the entire trip with a few exceptions um, of driving a little bit slower when I got into traffic. So when we're gonna, we're gonna have the car sit idle here for today, um, I'm not sure how many hours, but it's gonna be between seven and nine hours today. And we are going to see what the range loss is on idle. So I'm going to flip it around. I'm going to show you guys what we have. And then when we get back in the car this afternoon, we'll go ahead and take a look at it and see what we lost. Okay, so just so you can see, temperature, uh, zero degrees. It's not picking up the wind chill. I'm going to post a little snippet of uh, what the wind chill looks like today. So I had 277 miles when I started today. Um, drove 52.9 hour and found well, was an hour and 12 minutes until I started recording this video. But this is just astonishing because, yes, I know it's cold. I've had, you know, the heat on and whatnot. Sorry about the reflection back, folks. Um, but, you know, my driving was fairly moderate. I was not going fast. Um, the car was preheated this morning, so there was no, uh, the battery really wasn't that cold. It is a little bit now. Um, but yeah, so 91 miles, it took me for a 52 uh, mile uh, journey today, 57% um, or so uh, degradation and battery loss today. Um, and hey, look what we got, uh, an update. So we're going to check that out as well. But um, yeah, so when we go through this, when I get back, we're going to do the range loss here today. And uh, you guys can check it out. And we really would love to hear what's happening on uh, you know, the eastern side or the colder climates to see what you guys are doing. I know this doesn't pertain to a lot of the folks in California and in the warmer states, but um, pretty significant. And, you know, as we go through um, really hopefully the last month and a half of cold, cold weather, um, we can get through this. But yeah, it's just, you know, it's really something you have to pay attention to because you just don't know if you're not charging your car up enough, um, you can really put yourself in, in a bad position where you don't have enough range to make it home. So, you know, just wanted to get that out there as well. But yeah, so let's check this out. We're, we're going to see where we're at at the end of the day. It is 719. Um, car's been sitting idle here for about five minutes. And when we get back this afternoon, we're going to check it out and see what we have. Okay, folks, so here we are. Um, I did not spend as much time at work today as I thought I was going to. Um, but anyway, I wanted to show you uh, the degradation or battery loss that we had in a short uh, six hours um, that I've been here today. We were at 156 miles. Um, I believe it was 185 or something like that. We basically have a 37 mile uh, range loss uh, for this very short period of time. And you can see it has warmed up a little bit. It's 17 degrees, uh, but it's still very, very, very cold out with the wind chill. So, you know, the point of the video is if you're going, if you know you're going to have this cold weather and you're going to be parked somewhere for a long time, or if you're on a a road trip or whatever it may be, you really need to consider charging the vehicle a little more uh, than you typically do. So you can add that, that range that's required for this loss um, for your journey, wherever it may take you. And I guess the moral of the story is, is just make sure you're charging the car enough 
uh, to make it to and from your destinations when it is cold outside like this. But please feel free to comment down below. Let me know what you guys are seeing out there as far as battery range loss is concerned in these temperatures. And, uh, you know, we'll share with the community. Okay, so I made it back home for my round trip commute from work. And um, it looks like we did a little bit better. I have 86 miles of range left. I, I don't know why, but it calculated at 52.2 instead of 52.9. But I lost about 17.7 miles of range on my commute home. And again, I was averaging normal speeds. Heater was definitely on. It's freezing cold outside. But, uh, you know, all in all, not too bad. Watt hours a mile. Um, I think that that's really high. And the weird thing was, is it almost felt like when I was driving slower, it increased. I don't know why, but, uh, I did have, I did gain some additional ranges. My battery was cold. Unfortunately, I could not see, um, what the difference was when I gained the range back. So the moral of the story is folks, charge up. You're going to go through some additional range loss, if you will. Um, when it's when there's these temperatures outside, no matter what your commute is, no matter how far you're driving, uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm sort of recording this while I'm driving in my driveway here. Um, I had to shuffle some cars around. But um, regardless, there you have it, folks. There's the, um, the brunt of it all. I'll add all this up together and put it out there so everybody knows what my range was this morning, what we lost, and what the reverse, reverse commute was. So again, thank you so much for tuning in, folks. We truly appreciate it. I hope you found this video useful. Take care. Okay, cool, folks. So here, I just wanted to present the numbers for you all so you don't have to go back and try and compile everything. So um, our drive to work, two, uh, starting range was 277 miles, uh, 53 miles driven. Uh, watt hours a mile, 392, which I think was just crazy. Um, I don't even, I, I don't know why that was the case. Um, outside temp was zero with a wind chill of minus 15, I believe. Um, and we lost 39.1 miles driving to work that day. Um, and then we had a, a, a loss range, an idle loss range of 29 miles uh, during the duration that I parked the car and uh, came back from work, um, which gave us a total loss of 68.1 miles and a remaining uh, range of 155.9, which was pretty accurate, is about what I had on the screen. And then our, on our drive home, or our reverse commute, we started out with 155. We had 52.2 miles driven, 344 watt hours a mile. It was a little warmer, it was 10 degrees, but I can't believe that that made that much of a difference there. Um, we lost range of 17.8 miles, and, of course, we had no idle range loss because I did, didn't have any idle time. Um, and then we had a total range loss for that trip of 17.8, which gave us a remaining uh, range of 85.2 miles. Um, now, I did do the calculation here. The range loss from driving and idle was about 31% of the total battery range that we had that day. So that's quite a bit, folks. I mean, and that was only over like a six and a half, seven hour period of time. So, you know, that that needs to be somehow addressed. I'm not sure what Tesla can do, but uh, for that little bit of a drive and, you know, yes, it was very, very cold out. The heat was running. Of course, um, we, you have those few things, but, you know, it's just like any other car. When it's this cold out, you have to have the heat on. Um, you have to be able to make it to and from wherever it is that you're going. And of course I did that, but 31% of the total range was lost during this commute. And um, I just broke it down here in a chart as well. Uh, so you guys can see that. There we go. 277 miles. And it just basically breaks everything down as I just went uh, through on the above chart. Um, but that one is a big one. 31% of the range was lost. So p please, folks, let me know what you have been experiencing. Have you been experiencing the same, less? Um, and again, I think I mentioned it earlier in the video that each and every day that I drive the car, I get something different. And, you know, that's very well to be expected. You would, you would expect the same in an ICE vehicle. 
depending on what your driving habits are and so forth, you're going to get different uh, gas mileage range and we are getting different uh, battery mileage range. So please comment down below, folks. And if you like the video or if I provided any useful information, please give a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you so much for tuning in. We truly appreciate it. Thank you.